adverbs. In this video, you shall be learning about the adverbs with a lot of examples and also list of the words that are used as adverbs. Also, we shall be learning about the types of adverbs. What are adverbs? Adverbs are words that describe verbs. The adverbs tells us how the verb is performed. The verb is the action or the doing word in the sentence. She talks loudly. Here, talks is the verb and the adverb loudly describe how the verb is done. So here, loudly is the adverb. How she talks? Loudly. He ran swiftly. Here, ran is the verb and the adverb swiftly describes how the verb is done. So how he ran? He ran swiftly. She talks loudly. He ran swiftly. Did you notice that both adverbs ended in ly? Lots of adverbs tell us how the verb is performed end with an ly. Let's take a few more examples. She behaved angrily. Angrily is the adverb describing how she behaved. He ate quickly. Quickly is the adverb describing how he ate. Hold the cup carefully. Carefully is the adverb describing how we should hold the cup. So now, read the list of adverbs with me. Calmly, daily, deeply, briskly, closely, beautifully, bravely, surely, broadly, greatly, softly, seriously, actually, tremendously, extremely, merrily. So these are some easy to identify adverbs. Now let us understand the different types of adverbs. Adverbs can also tell us when, where, how often and how much a verb is done. So now we can identify the types of adverbs as adverbs of manner, adverbs of place, adverbs of time, adverbs of degree and adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of manner tells us the manner or way in which something happens. They answer the question how. Let's see a few examples. He speaks softly. How does he speak? Softly. So here, softly is the adverb of manner. They worked happily. How did they work? Happily. Adverb of manner? Happily. Max runs fast. How does Max runs? Fast. So fast is an adverb of manner. So the adverbs of manner tell us how an action is performed. Let us quickly read the list of adverbs of manner. Angrily, anxiously, awkwardly, badly, boldly, busily, calmly, carefully, carelessly, cautiously, closely, correctly, courageously, cruelly, daringly, eventually, exactly, faithfully, generously, gently. Adverbs of place tell us the place where something happens. They answer the question where. Let us see a few examples. Please sit here. It answers the question, where should I sit? So here, over here, is an adverb of place. Where should I sit? Here. They looked everywhere. In this sentence, the verb is looked. 
but where did they look everywhere so everywhere is a adverb of place two cars were parked outside where were the two cars parked outside parked over here is the verb and outside is the adverb of place now let us quickly check out the list of adverbs of place about above abroad anywhere away back backwards behind below down downstairs outside inside there where under upstairs an important thing about this is that all these words are also used as prepositions but they are prepositions as long as they express the relationship between two objects or two nouns or a pronoun in a sentence but when these words are answering the question where for the related verb then they become an adverb adverbs of time tell us the time when something happens they answer the question when let us see a few examples it rained yesterday here it rained is the verb and when did it rain yesterday so yesterday is the adverb of time sally should study now here study is the verb and when should that verb be done when should sally study now so now is the adverb of time i will sleep later when will i sleep sleep is the verb later so the adverb of time is later can you think of more such words that are used as adverb of time come say with me now then today tomorrow tonight already before early since soon still yet first last next finally these are a few words that can be used as adverbs of time adverbs of frequency they tell us how often something happens they answer the question how often let us see a few examples i read books daily read is the verb and how often do you read a book daily so daily over here is the adverb of frequency we never go fishing on sunday fishing over here is a verb and how often do you go fishing on a sunday the answer is never so never is used as the adverb of frequency never tells us about the verb that is happening we go camping sometimes camping is the verb but sometimes tell us more about that verb in the sentence how often do you go camping sometimes so sometimes is the adverb of frequency now let's see if you know some more words that tells you about the adverbs of frequency or the frequency with which the verbs are happening always again normally never seldom frequently hardly ever often occasionally rarely scarcely usually daily weekly yearly hourly adverbs of degree they tell us the degree or the amount or the extent to which something is happening they answer the question how much let us see a few examples i completely agree with you agree is the verb but how much do i agree with you here completely is the adverb that is answering the question how much do i agree with you or how much of the verb is happening i fully enjoyed the party here the word fully is telling us about how much did i enjoy the party and enjoy is the verb so fully is the adverb telling us more about the verb of the sentence which is enjoy i greatly believe in kindness 
Here in this sentence, the verb is believe. But how much do I believe in kindness? So the answer to this is greatly. So greatly is the adverb of degree. So now let us read some more words that can be used as the adverbs of degree. Almost, absolutely, barely, completely, deeply, enough, entirely, extremely, fairly, far, fully, greatly, hardly, highly, incredibly, indeed. So now we have understood that adverbs are the words that modifies the verbs in the sentence or tell us more about the verbs. But along with verbs, adverbs can also describe or modify an adjective or another adverb. Finding it to be tricky? You need not worry. Let's see a few examples. Mary is very beautiful. Now the verb in this sentence is is. But beautiful is the adjective in the sentence. And the word very is telling us more about the adjective beautiful. How much beautiful is Mary? Mary is very beautiful. So think about it. Very is an adverb that is modifying the adjective of the sentence. So very is the adverb of degree used for the adjective. Coffee is really hot. Here hot is the adjective that is used for the noun coffee and really is the adverb that is telling us about the degree of hotness. How hot is the coffee? Really hot. So really is the adverb of degree used for the adjective. He drove quite dangerously. Now think about the verb of the sentence which is drove and dangerously is the adverb that is telling us more about his driving about the verb drove now if we are using the word quiet before dangerously we are using an adverb to actually tell us more about the adverb dangerously here quiet is answering the question how much dangerously that is quite dangerously. So here, this is a very good example where we are using an adverb to modify or tell us more about another adverb. Jen is learning so quickly. Learning is the verb and quickly is the adverb which is answering the question, how is Jen learning? And so is another adverb which is answering the question, how quickly? So the two adverbs used in the sentence are quickly and so is another adverb that is used to modify the adverb quickly. She skated too poorly. How poorly did she skate? Too poorly. Here poorly is the adverb used for the verb skated and too is the adverb describing the adverb poorly. So how poorly? Too poorly. So this brings us to an end of another fantastic video. Hope you guys understood more about the adverbs. And if you really like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your wonderful comments below. And also subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.